change is the only constant and it's gonna be different. Not better or worse, just different. It gets back to the butterfly. We just, we're gonna morph to the next stage and it'll be different than this one. And then, you know, from there we'll go. Monarch butterflies begin their migration in Michoacan, Mexico. As temperatures heat up, the monarchs follow the warmth north, passing through the United States and arriving in Canada for the spring and summer months. As temperatures cool, the migration begins south, back through the United States, passing through Texas, before eventually reaching Michoacan, Mexico for the winter. It takes up to five generations of the monarch butterfly to complete this migratory journey, but with cues from the weather, each generation of monarch always knows which way to fly. Monarchs lay eggs in milkweed plants, and these eggs hatch into caterpillars. Those caterpillars, if not eaten by prey, feed and feed on the milkweed until they go through metamorphosis, where they turn into a chrysalis, and inside, the transformation into a butterfly occurs. When they emerge, monarch butterflies with their strong black and orange colors will continue the migration, find a mate, lay eggs, and the cycle begins again. Over the last two decades, the monarch butterfly has been met with grave challenges to its survival. Milkweed is a very important source of nutrients for young monarchs. This is what they rely on, you know, as a food source. And glyphosate is wiping out milkweed around the country, and we've seen very dramatic declines in the monarch population because of that. The weather unpredictability is also a real challenge because, you know, we have these sort of cycles in place that we count on and that seems to be disrupted. Monarch butterflies, bees, and other pollinators make one of every three bites of our food possible. And if they go away, our food's gonna get way more expensive. We're very lucky that we live in what we call the Texas Funnel, where this time of year in October, all the monarch butterflies have to pass through this part of the world to get to Mexico. The National Wildlife Federation, in response to President Obama's National Pollinator Initiative, put forward an initiative to encourage cities across the country, especially along the I-35 corridor, to plant pollinator habitat and to increase pollinator habitat within their cities. Things like, you know, change your mowing schedule, you know, use more native plants, and have a butterfly festival was one of the things on that list. I look at our festival as a lens through which to see these very complex issues. The monarch butterfly is an ambassador for a lot of good practices that don't just benefit monarch butterflies, but the whole environment. Migratory monarchs pass through South Texas because so much of the land is commercial development, residential development. There is only 5% of our native habitat remaining in South Texas. So those migratory monarchs flying through here, both north and south of us, have no habitat with nectar and host plants for them. We are actually home to the southernmost monarch way station, where we've planted thousands and thousands of native milkweeds, as well as almost 100 acres of their preferred nectar sources. So we are a place where they can rest, refuel, and also lay eggs and produce that critical fifth generation of monarchs. They're born to do nothing more than make it to Mexico to ensure the survival of the species. Oh, I hope I brought Kleenex. <sighs> I 
so this is our property here and this on the other side is a National Wildlife Refuge tract. Our property begins where the road ends and this gate is actually made of the border wall steel bollards. Over there, you can see the edge of the conservatory. And this right here is where the border wall is going to go. The border wall here will be an excavation of this earthen levee. And it will be a 90 degree vertical concrete slab wall that is 18 feet tall, about the same height as the current levee, then with 18 feet of steel bollards on top of that. Starting right over here, eliminating all of this vegetation. And the Rio Grande River, which is the actual border, is 1.2 miles beyond here. of this land will be behind the border wall in some control zone is what border patrol is calling it. Butterflies tend to fly where their host plants are and if their host plants are low growing those butterflies are low flying. They're going to stay where they're going to find a mate, where they're going to find a food source for their young, where they live and roost. So species like the monarch that fly at 300 feet to 1,000 feet up in the air, the border wall is not going to be a barrier for them. The elimination of habitat will be an issue. Here in San Antonio, we, you know, we have the Mexico issue, and you know, lately we've had a lot of immigration issues and sustainability issues and resiliency issues, and all of these things can be looked at through the monarch butterfly. The biggest contribution that monarch butterflies make is just the engagement that they inspire in people. When people have this opportunity to engage with this creature on a personal level. For example, tagging or seeing them close up because they don't sting, they don't bite. They're beautiful, they're glamorous. They fly in this dreamy flight pattern because they're poisonous to predators so they don't have to skid around like a, some other kinds of insects. So when you get people to start looking at that and paying attention to that, then they start to think about what they do and how that impacts that. And if they don't have that experience or contact with the creature or with the ecosystem, then they're not going to care about it. And so I think that's the biggest contribution that we can make in staging these kinds of live events, is creating interaction between people and nature and species and plants and things other than humans. Que ya no dudes de mi traición, abre con un cuchillo mi corazón. Para que ya no dudes de mi pasión, abre con un cuchillo mi corazón. Ay. Pero con tiento no me lastimes mi alma, que yo estoy dentro.
Este cielito lindo, lindo cielito que traigo aquí Viene de la basta, casilito lindo, solo por ti Este cielito lindo, lindo cielito que traigo aquí Viene de la basta, casilito lindo, solo por ti Ay, 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 ay No lo desprecias porque tendrás la culpa, cielito lindo, que se regrese. Ay, 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 ay. Change is the only constant, and it's going to be different. Not better or worse, just different. Once again, I mean, it gets back to the butterfly. We just, we're going to morph to the next stage, and it'll be different than this one, and then, you know, from there we'll go.